everybody and welcome to today's story. Now the story I've chosen for us today is this one here and it's called Never Say No to a Princess. And down here it says all she wants is a dragon of her own. Ooh, I think I would say no to that princess and this story is written by Tracy Corduroy and the pictures it's illustrated by somebody called Kate Lake. She's the person that drew all those pictures. So, never say no to a princess and all she wants is a dragon. Mm. Let's see how this story goes. Okay. Ready. The little princess wore a big sparkly tiara. She slept in a big sparkly bed. Her big sparkly wardrobe was bursting with sparkly dresses and her toy box was filled with big sparkly toys. Hmm, I think she likes sparkles. You see, the little princess got everything she wanted, but nothing ever seemed to make her smile. Oh. Ice cream, she shouted. I want ice cream now. Oh, and it'd be better be good or else I'll cry. Quick, said her daddy, who was busy being king, or else she'll cry. So ice cream after ice cream was bought from the royal kitchens. But the little princess heaved a great big sigh. Too sticky. Too drippy. Yuck, too pink, she exclaimed. And look. You've forgotten the sprinkles! Oh dear, this is a very cheeky princess. Ponies! bellowed the little princess. I want ponies now and make them good or else I'll cry. Quick! said her mummy, who was busy being queen, or else she'll cry. So pony after pony was led from the royal stables. But the little princess simply shook her head. Too frisky, too twinkly, yuck, too sweet, she cried. And that one is doing, but that one doing ballet is a show off. Gosh, she's not impressed with anything, is she? Then one morning at breakfast time, a big green dragon flew by. Dragon, yelled the little princess. I want that dragon now. Get it. Catch it! Now, now, now! Or else I'll cry! Quick! said the royal servants. Or else she'll cry! Swish, swish, swish went the royal net. But the dragon just wouldn't be caught. So the little princess tossed back her head, took a deep breath, and cried! By lunchtime, a river of twinkling tears gushed through the sparkly palace. By tea time, it was an ocean. And by bedtime, the palace went... <gasps> Pop! Oh no, look! The palace has exploded through her tears. Whoosh went the gurgly water as it swept the little princess far, far away from home. Wonder where she'll end up. She found herself all alone in a gloomy wood. Her tiara was bent. Her dress was torn. She had never been less sparkly. I want my mummy and daddy, sniffed the little princess. Just then, she heard a swoosh in the dark night sky. The air above her head grew warm. And there, swooping down through the twinkly stars, was what do you think it's gonna be? The dragon! Dragon! bellowed the little princess. Take me to my mummy and daddy! The dragon raised an eyebrow. What's the magic word? The little princess thought for a moment. Oh yes, she said. Take me to my mummy and daddy now. That's not the magic word, said the dragon. Right, said the princess, I'm going to cry. Oh dear. And she did. 
The dragon dried her tears with one blast of hot air from his nose. Then he swished off into his cave and shut the door. The little princess was puzzled. Crying usually worked a treat. She wondered what the magic word could be. Hmm. Do you guys know it? Hmm. Then she remembered a word she had heard a long time ago. She tiptoed up to the dragon's cave and tapped on the door. Will you t take me to my mummy? Daddy, please, shivered the little princess. Certainly, smiled the dragon. But first, we need to get you warm and dry. The dragon lit a roaring fire and they huddled in the orange glow until the little princess felt much better. Time to go home, said the dragon. Yes, please, said the little princess. So back they flew through the starry night. Oh, following the signs to the palace. Oh, look, there's a gingerbread house there. Mm -hmm. When the little princess awoke, the dragon was gone, but her mummy and daddy were so pleased to see her. Oh, but darling, gasped the queen, we don't have any sparkly things for you. The royal footman coughed politely and handed her a catalogue. Your majesty's favourite, he said with a bow. Sparkly things for a princess. What would you like? beamed the king. Necklaces, carriages, sparkly shoes. But the little princess didn't look very happy. I'd like to invite a friend to play, please, said the little princess. A friend, said the king. A friend, said the queen. But there aren't any other little princesses for miles around. This is a special friend, said the little princess. She wrote an invitation in her very best handwriting. And a royal servant set off to deliver it. I wonder who it's to. Do you think you have an idea? The little princess's special friend wasn't quite what the king and queen were expecting. And his table manners left a lot to be desired. But as they ate their sparkly tea, the king noticed something strange. Do you think, he said to the queen, our little princess looks different? The queen peered through the royal binoculars. Heavens, she gasped. You're right. Is she? No! Yes, cried the queen. Queen, She's, she is, she's smiling. <gasps> and the little princess kept on smiling all day long. Oh, that's lovely. The end. Oh, I'm pleased that she thought really carefully there about what would actually make her happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.